Hi everyone, welcome to another free family art project. I'm Autumn, the education coordinator here for Studio 23. Uh, before we get started with our project, I just wanted to give you all a little reminder. Um, like Tara mentioned, our fall classes are starting very soon. And with this um, unique year, we've also got some unique classes. So we'll be doing virtual classes and in-studio classes. Um, we also have some new classes, like Tara mentioned. Um, we have artist Barb Plasia, excuse me, Barbara Plasia, who um, is offering a pen and ink class and a in plain air drawing of the Great Lakes Bay region class. And um, so these are some really fun, interesting new classes that we'll be offering. Uh, we'll, we also have uh, Julie Tislecki, who is our colored pencil instructor, who's going to be offering a new class, which is our portrait class. So if any of these sound interesting to you, please give us a call. And like always, we have our um, intermediate and advanced drawing classes with Armin Mersman, iPhoneography with Armin Mersman, oil painting with Jim Perkins, uh, acrylic painting with um, Sean Gallagher, and of course, all of our amazing clay classes with all of our great uh, clay instructors. So if you're looking or you kind of think maybe you might want to take an art class, check out our website. All of our classes are listed. We also have children's classes that include virtual and in studio. So check it out and see what kind of art classes you can get into. So anyways, uh, like Tara said, we are doing um, projects inspired by the artist Roger Reichman today. And uh, Roger Reichman, of course, is mostly known for doing the assemblage. And what's really fun about that kind of art project, especially for kids, is the first part of it, you get to do a, um, like a little bit of a scavenger hunt, I guess. You can go around either your house or you could even go outside and you can just look for cool little objects. And that's always fun for kids. Kids absolutely love that kind of project. Um, so then once you do that, then that's when you're gonna go ahead and bring those back to the house and create your art with it. So some good ideas if you're looking for household items is like um, we had a whole bunch of different kind of buttons here and buttons make great assemblage, buttons make great things to make prints out of and that's what we're ultimately gonna do with our assemblage is we're gonna print with it. Um, I found these little wooden, I don't know, they almost look like little wooden biscuits, but I'm not entirely sure what they are. Um, these would be really nice. Um, you could use pipe cleaners, those are great. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? You could, cotton balls, cotton balls make really interesting texture. If you have some old washers laying around in your junk drawer like I do, that would be something you could put to use. Um, any kind of little chain, anything with like pattern or texture is going to be great for this project. Um, the other thing you could use is if you have any of these little foam stickers around, I know little ones love these kind of things. These also are great for this type of project. So I'm sure you have all kinds of stuff around your house that you could use. Um, just take a little, just take a little trip around and see what you can find for this. So to start with, what I did is, um, I, create, I took all my um, items and I created an assemblage on paper. And then I got some paint and a brush and a little bit of a, uh, like some school glue, like a glue stick. And um, I used that to create this print. Okay, so you're gonna take your items, you're gonna create an assemblage with it, and then we're gonna make a print out of it. Um, so like I said, as far as items that you're going to need for this, you're going to want your found objects for your assemblage. You're going to want a few different colors of paint, something to apply the paint with. These little foam rollers are great, or you can just use a brush. Um, if it's children safe, you could even use your hands. Um, and then some paper. I'm just using some old paper so I can recycle. And then a surface to work on. So this is just some construction paper. Oh, don't forget your paper towel because it tends to get a little messy. All right, so let me get my camera adjusted and I'll walk you through this project.
All right, let's see. Okay, I think we're good. So what I did is I just have my construction paper here, right? And I took some of the items, like I said, some of those household items that I had found, and I started to arrange them on this paper. Now, to get an idea of how big my assemblage needs to be, I kind of just put my paper down and, and just got like a basic idea, right? And if you were really worried about it, you could always grab a pencil and just kind of mark it off so you know not to put your items past the paper, okay? So then from there, what I did is I start to figure out how I wanna lay it out. And then I just use a glue stick and I'm just gonna lightly glue it down um, because who knows, I might wanna move them or I might want to use these for a different project in the future. So I'm just gonna use a little glue stick. All right. So let's see, and I'll put this here. Um, after you get your assemblage all put together, um, I decided I wanted something to help me fill in the background, right? But I still just found this really cool um, household item with a lot of pattern. This is just one of those little things you can use to um, open a jar. Like if you're like me and you can never get that jar of pickles open, you probably have these <laughs> laying around your house. So that's all this is, right? So to get this really cool pattern in the background, I simply put it down and I put some paint on it and then I, I used it to print off of, okay? So let's see, I got my paint and you can really use whatever colors you want. I would, I suggest probably about four colors at least to start with, okay? So let's see, I'm gonna take my little roller. Again, you can use your brush and let's see, Let me get some. I'll use some of this blue. And I'm just gonna put it on the back of this plate right here so I can get it on my little foam roller. All right, and then I'm just gonna go for it and I'm gonna try and cover as much of this plastic piece as I can. All right. And I'm gonna leave that there. Usually when we print, we take the paper to the item, not the other way around. So I'm gonna take my paper and I'm, and actually this time I'm gonna put it a little off. Let's see how that turns out. And I'm just gonna press it down and rub it a little bit just so I can get that paint to transfer to my paper. Okay, that should be good. Ooh, yeah, I love that. I love that texture and I think it'll be nice on an angle. So, okay, done with this little piece. If you wanted, you could do a different color and um, move this over a little bit and create another layer of color. Um, it's up to you. You can obviously make this as, um, as uh, you know, busy or as simplified as you want to. Okay, so from there then, you would uh, create your assemblage and um, probably glue it down, right? And then we're gonna just start putting some paint on these. And you can use your brush, you can use your foam roller if you have it, whichever. So let's see, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start with like a light blue color. So I'm gonna take some blue and I'm gonna scoop some white here. And I'm gonna create a little light blue for me really quickly. Now, a lot of times I like to work in colors that, um, you know, are kind of work together and are harmonious. I try not to use any complementary colors because then I don't have to clean my brush in between. So that's also something to consider. All right, so I got my light blue. Let me roll. And these little paint rollers are nice. You can use them for a lot of projects. You can get, it, get them for really inexpensive. Um, I believe this one came from like Joann's and it was like, I don't know, 40 cents or something. So really reasonable. All right, got some light blue loaded up on my plate and I'm just going to roll right over my assemblage of buttons, wood biscuits, washers, etc. Okay, I think that's good enough. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put paper to assemblage. And this, you wanna probably hold it down, be a little bit more careful with it, just so you're not ripping through the paper, and also so you're getting all the shapes 
transferred. So I'm trying to be mindful of the things that I have down in my assemblage. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, so we got a little bit of a print going on here. That looks good. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make another color. I'm gonna do, let's see. I'm gonna put down some pink, I think, just to kind of pop. I have, you know, I have a lot of blues going on, like a purple, so I think, I think we'll go in with some pink. And because I'm using the roller, I need a surface to get it on there. So I'm using just the back of a plate. That's a great tip if you have any of those foam rollers around your house. All right, got some pink on there and I'm not even gonna wash my roller. I'm just gonna go for it, see what it does. You know me, I like to experiment a little bit, right? Roll it on there. And like I said, I could even go in with a brush if I wanted to. Let's see, I could even pop some white on there if I want. Oh, that's fun because it's kind of making some light pink colors. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So then I'm gonna go in with my paper again and you could line it up at the same time, try and line it up the same exact way you did before. You could flip your paper around. You can do it kind of askew. Really just get, have some fun with it and see what you wanna do with it. So I'm gonna do it a little bit off center from what I did before, hopefully. And this is a rather abstracted image so it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's, that's uh, great for kids and they can just kind of go for it. And, Right. Oh yeah, so it's a little off center, see? And that's how I wanted it, so that's pretty cool. Now you could keep going with this in multiple colors. Like I said, you could switch it around. There's so many things you could do with this. Um, what I like to do is I like to throw little pops of color in there and um, fill in more areas. So if you can see on here, that's kind of what I did with this orange. And I just used an old foam roller you can, if you have these around your house, you probably know they're really inexpensive. Pretty sure this just came from the dollar store. Um, and so I'll just go in with a color. So I guess I'll use my orange. And I'm just gonna load it up with a little bit of paint. And then I'm just gonna go for it and I'm gonna fill in some areas on my image. So maybe we'll do one here. Maybe I'll do one right here. here and we'll do one down here all right so we have these really cool abstract uh, prints made from assemblage um, like I said super fun project to do with kids and very inexpensive if you try this project out we would love to see what you're working on please use the hashtag, hashtag excuse me studio 23 on the go or make art virtual and uh, We'd love to see what you're working on. Otherwise, that is it for me. I hope you all have a fabulous holiday weekend. And um, up next is Vail. Have a great day. Bye.